Welcome to Mosky at the Movies, sponsored by Mastermind Communications. I'm David Moskowitz, a.k.a. Mosky, and I've got your back with new movie reviews worth your valuable time and hard-earned money. Today's film is the most anticipated film of 2017, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Basically, The Last Jedi is about the good guys, the resistance, trying to evade the bad guys, the First Order, as they flee to find a new home planet. Along the way, the resistance's spaceships get blown up, lives are lost, and they deal with getting away with a low fuel situation. Meanwhile, Daisy Ridley's Rey character is on another planet. She's trying to convince Luke Skywalker to help the resistance fight the First Order and the evil Kylo Ren, but he isn't having any of it. Something inside me has always been there. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. It's really hard to review a film without giving away spoilers, but I'm going to do my best. This Star Wars film, The Last Jedi, is actually the worst of the Star Wars canon. I actually like The Force Awakens better than The Last Jedi, which is saying something, right? Because it had Han Solo in it, wasn't as dark, answered more questions, and hit on the notes of what people love about the Star Wars franchise. A few things I found problematic about The Last Jedi. I wondered, why in the hell does a spaceship in the future run on fuel? How does the Daisy Ridley Rey character have her makeup and hair intact after major battle scenes? How does the renegade stormtrooper Finn, played by John Boyega, never tire of energy going from one battle scene to the next? So unrealistic. Half the massive First Order ship gets torn apart. Many people die, but Finn and his uh, member Rose, played by Kelly Marie Tran, survive. Hated, hated, hated the Poe character. How does a guy who looks like a young Al Pacino in Dog Day Afternoon run amok, get away with a minor demotion by General Lei, then detained for insubordination by the weak Laura Dern character who takes over the ship, and then in a later scene he's talking to the Laura Dern character like nothing happened? The film also runs the risk of the audience not taking situations seriously by being too snarky. The humor sprinkled throughout the film with ancillary characters by director Ryan Johnson loosens up the tension, but I thought it was maybe just a little too much. Carrie Fisher's voice was low in spots, and so it was kind of hard to hear what she was saying every word. But the positives, great special effects, as is expected of a Star Wars film, right? And loads of screen time for Mark Hamill and the late Carrie Fisher, who, by the way, this film was dedicated to. They give solid performances, and I loved Mark Hamill's humor in this, and much more edgier than any other Star Wars film he's been in. Almost takes the place of Han Solo. Nice twists and turns in the movie. Always something happening from one moment to the next. You're always on your edge of the seat, despite the length being two and a half hours. And Yoda makes an appearance. Great to see also R2-D2, C-3PO. Sorry, but BB-8 is no R2-D2, so stop trying to make him into an R2-D2, okay? Anyways, back with my verdict after this. Want to reach over 1 million people a month in the lucrative 12 to 54 age demo from all walks of life, education, and income levels to help promote your movie, sell your product, service, or ad campaign? Please freeze frame, rewind this video right here, and contact Yvonne Lacey. Here's the info right up here. And tell her Mosky sent you. Welcome back. The moment you've all been waiting for, my verdict. As a standalone film, story-wise, Last Jedi factoring out this great special effects, is pretty much an average film and arguably, again, the worst in the Star Wars trilogy canon. Just wait to stream it or buy the DVD, okay? But if you're a big Star Wars fan, boy or girl, and you need the answers right away, then go out and see it and spend your dough. I give Star Wars The Last Jedi three Moskies. Thanks for watching Mosky at the Movies. I'm David Moskowitz, a.k.a. Mosky. You can check out my past movie reviews on my website, MoskyAtTheMovies.com. Mosky at the Movies is sponsored by Mastermind Communications, executive producer Fred Conquist, associate producer Scott LaFada, and directed and edited by Adam Sada. Thanks again for tuning in. See you next time with hot off-the-screen reviews of the latest movies worth paying to see and spending your valuable time with. Keep it real. Want to reach over 1 million people a month in the lucrative 12 to 54 age demo from all walks of life, education and income levels to help promote your movie, sell your product, service or ad campaign? Please freeze frame, rewind this video right here and contact Yvonne Lacey. Here's the info right up here. And tell her Mosky sent you.